I got some good news to report. Blood pressure is fine. Uh, it's under control. Uh, did some vigorous exercise. Other things. Uh -huh. And didn't feel like my head was going to explode off the shoulders or ha have a heart attack. So, um, losing 10 pounds. I was able to lose 10 pounds. I don't know how I was able to do it, but I just was. Uh, just... Uh, that did it. Plus, stay away from uh, indica, yeah, pot, yeah. stay away from that stuff. I think that's probably what threw things off. But right now, everything is fine. So uh, maybe the maybe the pot helped. But I'm not going to go back to it because if it ain't fixed, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. I, if if it's not broken, don't fix it. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm trying to make this battery die so I can uh, recharge it for a uh, memorial for a friend of mine who just recently died. Yeah. He was a fellow substitute teacher. He was really good, really good, but he uh, got old and they fired him and then he died. Yeah. He uh, just didn't have any purpose after that. So. Oh well, but he was one of my fellow substitute teachers and yeah, died at 70, only 74, my gosh. Anyway, I have uh, some um, interesting news to tell you. I remember my mom and family talking about the coincidence of this coat that our the friend of the family bought at a uh, thrift store in the little town that we were living at the time and being my grandfather's uh, coat but I had no idea until further investigation of how amazing the coincidence was see I had a, a grandmother who uh, in her spare time she would uh, write the names of the uh, write the name of the person into the clothing like if it was underwear, you know, write it on that, you know. Or if it was a coat, write it on the wherever that had, you know, put like the initials on it or something like that. And uh, that was just something she did. And anyway, the friend of the family, his name was Phil, he came to the house one time. And uh, he was talking and stuff and he was uh, helping with my stuff and thing. And uh, my mom said, gosh, that coat you have looks just like. Uh, my dad's, you know, my grandfather's. But she said, uh, but if it were, he would, it would have uh, his initials in the, or his name in the back of it, because you know, uh, my mother always puts uh, the names of the, uh, or uh, of the back of it. Names or, or initials? I really don't know for sure, but yeah. Um, and he said, well, that'd be funny if we, if he had it on there. And he took it off, and guess what? It was my grandfather's coat because it had the name and stuff on it, and uh, uh, I thought he bought it at the thrift store, and that my mom must have had it and, and sold it at the thrift store, and he just happened to buy it. I thought, oh, that's a coincidence, yeah. But then I discovered that he, yeah, he bought it at the thrift store, but my mom never gave the coat to the thrift store. She said that. I, we found out that uh, our grandfather, who had the coat and had the name on it, he got he got he uh, he gave it to a Goodwill store in um, I, I don't think it was a Goodwill store. He just gave it away, really, in uh, in a town, his town, that was about 400 miles away, and somehow it ended up in the small town that we were in a thrift store. And our friend picked it up, and my mom just happened to say, "Oh, you know, it looks like my uh, dad's." coat, but if it were to have that thing in the back of it, and he takes off, and sure enough, it's that way, so, that to me is an amazing coincidence, like the, uh, probably like the time when, um, I was a trucker going through Kansas, listened to a book on tape called The Unnamed, it was a novel, about a guy that kept on walking, and, um, one, one scene, he's walking down a certain road in Kansas, Art doesn't say Kansas, but he's walking down that road, and um, 
and I was listening to it, and it was describing that road, and it, I just happened to be on that road, <laughs> driving down that road as a trucker, right, while I was listening to it, and I look up and I see a Sinclair uh, dinosaur, right, I look up and see the Sinclair dinosaur, then that novel starts talking about looking up and seeing, yeah, look, seeing the Sinclair dinosaur, so it was like Twilight Zone stuff, you know what I mean? So, anyway, I thought I'd just let you know about that amazing coincidence, but...